morning guys what is up happy thursday welcome back to another vlog stella's here to say good morning i'm sitting on the floor right now it's very comfy actually but i have no idea what today's vlog is gonna be full fall theme planned we're gonna like have a fall photo shoot with a friend go to a coffee shop get a pumpkin spice latte and do all the fun fall things today is gonna be like a real fall vlog but it's pouring right now so that plan got kiboshed but we are still going to um, a drive through haunted house tonight, which is really exciting. Ottawa is launching their first like, drive through haunted experience. So we're going tonight. It's the first night. I'm going to bring you guys along. But I figured I'd make a day out of it and vlog. So it's currently 10. Purposely didn't start the vlog until now because something I want to talk to you guys about super quick before we get into it is that time of day that you wake up does not correlate to how productive you're going to be. I feel like so many productive vlogs on the internet or productive day in lives, myself included, are like getting up early, getting up at like five, six, seven, and like grinding. But just so you guys know, you can still be productive even if you get up at 10 a.m. Sometimes, honestly, the days that I'm getting up later, I'm more productive, you know? So I don't want you guys to ever correlate the time you wake up with how productive you are. So I'm starting the vlog now. I've been working since six, but I've just been like lazy watching YouTube videos, answering emails on my couch, and now my caffeine's kicking in and I'm finally ready to get the day going. But yeah, so basically I just don't want you guys to ever think that like just because you get up at 8, 9, 10 doesn't mean you can't be productive because you can be productive whenever the heck you want. So that's that. But I'm currently working, obviously. So I just went for a little walk. So she's about to take a nap. It's about to pour rain. It's a great day. I never filmed this spot, but I actually really like the lighting. I'm actually sitting on my floor. Um, oh my god, I'm supposed to be in a meeting right now. This is super awkward. I mean, I'm so they'd be posted the day. I talked about this in my video that just went live um, my debt update I did a finance Q&A but this is the cute little sheet I use to like track my debt payoff I don't know I'm just very visual so I like stuff like this but I'm gonna go ahead and color it in because I was at $46.91 and I just put a thousand dollars on it so I'm at 36 so I need to go ahead and update that and color it in and I'm getting so close you guys I actually think they're gonna be paid off before December just with, like starting my new job I'm, I'm so beyond grateful but um and yeah, so I'm really, really excited. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in. It's always so fun to take like, a little break from work and color it. I just use my midliners. Um, but yeah, I just want to give you guys a little update. This is what I use. I'll link it down below. A lot of you guys were interested, and I'm just so excited. hard it is to vlog with a bun on top of your head because you just look bald like if i vlog from this angle i look like i don't have any hair but i started a new girl last night and i'm obsessed anyone else working from home like need to have a show on in the background because i do and i just like to have something like light and airy that i don't really need to like always pay attention to if that makes sense so mine's a new girl right now and i'm, I'm already on season two i'm not gonna lie i literally watched it to like um, but let me know down below if you guys have any good shows like that that are just kind of like light and airy you can have it on the background like Emily in Paris was mine um, The Office like Brooklyn Nine-Nine all those kinds of shows um, Anyways, it's like 11. I'm still working on the coffee. It's a very quiet work day, which I really am okay with I'm just like catching up on a bunch of emails Getting ahead like I said because I only have a week left at work and just relaxing really. It's really nice. It's cozy I was gonna watch a Halloween movie, but I decided to watch New Girl instead. But after work, I think we're gonna go do groceries and I have to run some errands and pick up some stuff. Um, I ordered another scarf from BB Co. Someone stopped me, but to be fair, I was waiting for it to come back in stock anyway. So we're gonna pick that up, go on a little adventure. Sucks that it's rainy. It would have been a nice day to walk around. Down. I just got an Amazon package. I'm so excited. I finally got a milk frother. We didn't get the Nespresso that came with one. So ordered one because i just wanted one that was better than like we have like a little handheld one and it just doesn't work that great with dairy free milk so i'm really excited about this yeah i'm really excited to let you guys know how i like it but yeah i just want like an automatic one that did and this one does hot and cold foam which is awesome
taking my lunch break and I'm eating breakfast. Just having my typical scrambled eggs with bacon and green onion. And then I was really craving peanut butter and jelly today, which I never do, but I made myself a bagel one half with avocado oil butter, it's vegan, and this side with peanut butter and strawberry jam. I still have in some water. My channel, I used to be like the queen of kombucha. I drink it all the time and I kind of got off the bandwagon. My mom normally makes it for us, but I don't have any. So I bought this the other day just because I've been feeling so blah gut wise. So I got the super berry one, brew doctor. So I'm having that. That's my little lunch. Watching new girl. I told you guys I'm literally on season two. So anyways, I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'll chat with you guys after. Are you saying hi to the vlog? Did you just wake up from a big nap? Yeah, see hi vlog. Good morning. Alrighty guys, it's currently like two. I just finished work and I just have like really random small things to do around the house. I need to get ready first of all, um, but I wanna get a few small things done around the house before we head out. I'm gonna go do groceries. Matt just picked up a like one to four shift. Um, Matt got a second job if you guys don't know. Um, I get asked all the time, I've addressed it, but he is a full-time nurse in the ICU and then he also works with public health, um, like casually because of COVID. So he picked up like a little one to four shift. Um, and so I'm gonna go, and since my photo shoot got canceled, I'm gonna go and do groceries and run some errands and stuff. Just like really random things to do, but it's still gonna be just like a getting stuff done around the house day. Can you guys tell the storm is brewing? It's definitely a lot darker than it's looking, but. Next thing I want to do is, I don't know. I just really randomly want to do this. We have a mug problem, but it's fine because we drink out of all our mugs. But like we have mugs here, we have mugs here, we have mugs here. Like it's just a mess. And so I kind of want to empty this out and put mugs in here or at least on half of it. Um, this is just like all of our, all of like Matt's brother's stuff for when he comes and fixes the house because they own it. So I'm gonna like take everything out of here and then put, I think, all of our mugs up there so that I can have them in like a few rows, if that makes sense. So let's see. I actually like this layout way better. So I put all the mugs down here. We have some Disney mugs in the wash, which is why there's not more there. But we got Disney, Disney, random, mats, seasonal. But I like that better. And then I actually just put like all of our workout stuff up there, which I like. But now I need to figure out this mess. Just got back from the grocery store. You guys love when I do grocery hauls, so I'm gonna do one for you guys and show you guys. This was definitely like just kind of like a snacky grocery haul. Um, I literally only needed strawberries, blueberries, and yogurt, and then I just picked up snacky stuff. So definitely not the healthiest, but we live a balanced lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So first thing we got, 
red. I really love sourdough. Then PC always has the coolest brand, like types of grapes. So I got these Sweet Carnival. They kind of look like cotton candy. So I got that. Matt and I are a sucker for this popcorn. We pick it up like every week. It, we get the cheddar jalapeno and the white cheddar and then we mix them together like in a bowl. It's so good. I'm actually a huge sucker for sour cream and bacon chips. Brooke, if you're watching this, this brings me back to high school. So yummy. Um, got some Cheez-Its. Um, my protein bars were on such mega steel that I think I might go back and get another box. This whole box was $17. They're normally like $28. So I might go back and get a second one, honestly. But yeah, you guys know how much I love these protein bars. Um, salami. <gasps> uh, I purposely went to Loblaws because they have this lunch meat. It's so good. Tomato and basil turkey. It's so yummy. Um, I got Matt some smoked Havarti. And then, oh, I also got this. Someone in my comments told me that their boyfriend was, like, really lactose intolerant. But apparently, the more aged a cheddar is, like, the easier it is in your stomach. So I'm going to try this and see if I can tolerate it. Um, so it's just, like, some aged cheddar. Picked, it's like a Greek French onion dip, which um, I love that because it's just a little healthier and it has a bit more protein in it. Yogurt from Matt. Anything of strawberries. Some blueberries. Um, cashew milk. I'd say cashew milk and oat milk are like tied for my favorite dairy-free milk. I just like cashew milk because it has a bit less calories. Not the ca like not saying that anything about calories is bad, but like a cup of cashew milk has like almost 200 calories, which if I'm baking and stuff, anyways, I just don't like to drink my calories. I'm not saying you need to count calories or anything. I'm just saying sometimes I just like to have a lower calorie milk option, um, especially if I'm making like a latte and stuff, and it tastes the same to me. So like, why would I not just get the lower calorie one, you know? But yeah, nothing wrong with calories, but I really like cashew milk. Um, love these. I don't know about you guys, but like working from home or just in general, I have such a sweet tooth. So like if I have like one of those or Rice Krispie, I'm good and I'm satisfied. But if I don't have anything snacking in the house, I will eat a whole tub of ice cream. So I need to have like little things to snack on in the house, which is why I got some of these goodies. Love these. They're just, oh, that's the French side. Made good chocolate banana cookies. Um, I really, uh, this just... Brooke, once again, if you're watching this, Brooke's mom used to make us Betty Crocker brownies all the time, and they are so good. But anyways, I actually just realized I grabbed the low-fat one. I didn't mean to, but I bet you it'll still be good. Um, just some turkey sticks. Guys, my baby boo, Sorcerer Mickey. Fantasia's 80 years old. You guys know Sorcerer Mickey and Fantasia's my favorite Disney character besides Olaf. So I saw this and I had to have it. I think it was $15, but I had to because I just collect all Sorcerer Mickey things. So I got that. Got some tortilla strips because I do love salads, especially working from home. They're super easy to throw together, but sometimes I just like to have fun little things to put in them. Uh, honestly, I'm a child and I'm going to eat one of these right now. Birthday cake, Rice Krispies. Matt should not let me go to the grocery store by myself because I have no self-control. I have no self-control. And then obviously, frozen two gummies. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to go ahead and show everyone all this on my Instagram stories because you guys love when I do that. Um, but yeah, that's my grocery haul. I'm going to put it all away. Probably make a little snack. I forgot to show you guys. I think I might have said this in a few vlogs ago, but I've been looking for a small black backpack for forever. Just simple, simple. Because whenever I go shoot content with like Chloe and stuff, I only ever have my purse and it doesn't have room for my back, my camera, and I'm always scared it's gonna fall out. So I just wanted like a nice, small, classy black little backpack. No like weird details, like literally plain like this. And Marshalls didn't have any for the longest time and then I got it at Loblaws literally of all places It was $31, but it's exactly what I wanted And I can bring it to work when I'm training next week, too And then the inside is plain which I love but anyways Yeah, I just wanted like a little backpack that I could bring and then I can also like bring this to Disney and stuff, too But yeah, I'm so happy about that How was your dentist stick? Was it so yummy? Did you have a yummy dentist stick? I missed you when I was doing groceries. I missed you. Yeah.